So we've just arrived here at the Fox HQ. We're we'll about to head inside and check it out. We're about to go check out the mothership. Jotty said earlier, it looks like a nightclub from the outside. Let's check it out. front of the show or the front of the Fox HQ. It's like a showroom here. A retail shop you can come in and buy all your bits. Helmets down here. All your gear, goggles, all your casual stuff down there. You have some fun in here. I just want to welcome everybody to Fox. It's a great opportunity obviously to launch a new product but at the same time give you guys a little bit of history about Fox and also this building here. For some of you that don't know, my name is Mark Finley. I've been with the brand for a really long time. Bob Fox and Jeff Fox started as a suspension brand, an aftermarket suspension brand um, to improve the riding experience. That was about 1974. So they started in Northern California. 1977, uh, as they created the team, the race team to support the suspension side of the business, Jeff Fox thought it would be a good idea to make race wear for those riders. And so at the races with their own satellite team, that became something that people were really interested in, the race wear. The race wear part of the business, uh, Jeff Fox saw that that was gonna be a great opportunity to, to split apart from the suspension business. The uh, suspension business in the course of a couple of years nearly died. All of the OEM brands realized what Bob and Jeff were doing with suspension, and they copied that suspension and put it on stock OEM motorcycles. So as Jeff Fox saw the suspension business pretty much disappearing, cut in half almost in one year, he realized this racewear thing is a great opportunity. 77, 1977, they split apart. Jeff pushed with racewear, and I'm glad he did it because I'm, I'm here because of that. Uh, Bob Fox continued with suspension. So that's really the quick story and how people get confused by the two brands. They really are related, but the businesses are not related at all, at all since 1977. We've been in this building for about five years. We, were, we had moved and slowly migrated to Southern California from Northern California. Roughly 10 years ago, we started to make that migration. We were in another building about two or three blocks from here. We leased it. It was a 40,000 square foot building. Uh, five years ago, we outgrew that building. We were in the process of migrating all of Northern California down to Southern California. Better talent pool down here. Uh, we could be near the industry. We're near the test tracks. It all made sense for us. So as we transitioned down here, we slowly closed the Northern California office and this became our headquarters. We found this building. It was an old abandoned warehouse. It's 80,000 square feet. Pete Fox spent about a year with the architects re remodeling this place. Obviously, you can tell it's a great space uh, to make it what it is today. But one thing that's instrumental here that I want to point out is the hallway right here as you guys come into the building. The zebra print here, um, super instrumental for the brand. As you guys know, in 1988, uh, Zebra racewear is something that Pete Fox really pioneered. Um, scared the family to death when he presented the product line to his dad and his older brother. Um, the CFO at the time was very conservative as well. So that is the story behind Zebra and it literally catapulted Fox from all the other brands. You'd seen all the sameness out in the marketplace. This helped us go on the trajectory that we've been on. So Zebra, this is special too because we are launching Zebra Racewear this weekend at, Z at uh, Vegas. So you'll see limited edition Zebra Racewear on Ken Roxon this weekend. And that's the story behind Zebra. So we're on the tour now. Been to a couple of things. We're on Main Street right now. Inside the belly of the beast here at Fox. There's cool stuff everywhere you look. Come around this corner here. Look at that behind that tree. That's sick. 
This room here is actually our sewing room. So if pattern, if the pattern team makes a, has a pattern come together and we need to sew a pant up, this is the area where we're allowed to do that. We have a couple of sewers in here. But another big thing that happens in here is uh, race wear uh, for the riders. So any modifications that we need to make. Um, if a guy's changing out a gear colorway that we weren't planning on, um, we actually have a full sublimation machine in the back office over there. We can sublimate their, their name and number on the back panel and cut out uh, the stock panel of the jersey and put in the, the sublimated version that we have. So a lot of modifications that can be done here and we'll have you guys cruise in here and take a look at uh, the sewing room and the product room. Tanner is our rider support guy for all the pro riders at the moment. What are you doing right now, Tanner? Uh, so this is just peeling uh, Chase's jersey for the weekend. We had to kind of switch up his program so he's going to be wearing a different kit for the rest of the guys since he's uh, in the fight for the championship. So let's get that one in his jersey. So a lot of times, like Kenny um, Forkner, uh, he always has input. <laughs> he has less input now. <laughs> he has less input now than he did uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, but I mean, the guys, that's one of the things they really love about what we're able to do for them. This is about patches, and Tanner, Tanner reaches out to the guys every weekend and pretty much pick their brain. We've just finished up the tour here in the Fox HQ. You see there's awesome, awesome memorabilia about everywhere. Uh, it's a very, very cool space. Uh, it's good to get insight into, into the company, into the brand, which is one of the coolest, I think, in the industry. And it always has been. So it's cool to kind of get a little bit of a taste of the mindset of the guys that are working here in Irvine, California. It's pretty cool. So the tour continues, well, a little bit by myself. We're outside now, Fox HQ behind me. You see the flag, the Yankee flag, the Fox flag, and we're out here. We've just finished up all of the, the interviews and stuff inside. And now we're out here, look. They're gonna take us right in a minute. Another Fox HQ. They've got a backyard track here at the HQ. I'm gonna take some mini bikes, like a little mini bike track. I'm gonna take some mini bikes around here, and try not to hurt ourselves. Just in case you didn't hear me on the GoPro, that wraps us up here for the Fox factory tour. It's been a sick day. Finish off with a ride on the track there. And now we'll get some beers and an in and out burger to finish off the day. Fox, doing it right. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. I'm Max. I'll catch you next time. Cheers.